doing? My name is Jeremy Dukes. I'm an installer for Hydrotech of San Diego. Today we're doing a Chevy Mountaineer Adventure, Chevy Venture uh, minivan. Um, one of the first things we want to start with on the system is to figure out where we're going to place the system. The first component is our hydrogen generator. We want this to be at the lowest point, and usually we start planning where we want to put this at first. In this case, it looks like the best place for us to put it is right here in front of the radiator. Down below, just like that. Also, it allows it to be cooled off by the wind flowing in front. And it's protected from any heat components. And the next thing we want to mount is the, the bubbler slash reservoir. We want to mount it in a place where it's not going to be disturbed by any moving parts uh, close to the cell and you want it to be above the cell. We're thinking about putting it right here. Let's go ahead and lower this down, get an idea of what we want it to look like and what it's going to look like. So it looks like we're over a little too far. We have to bring it over. Right there. That's a good spot. Uh, right now we're going to mount the, the uh, air intake inlet so that the gas can go inside where the throttle body is. We just want to get as close to the throttle plate as we can without affecting any moving, moving parts. But you want to make sure it's between the throttle plate and after the mass airflow. So between the throttle plate and the mass airflow is where you want your inlet, your HHO. We're going to mount it right over here. careful when you're disconnecting things you either can mark it or just make sure you know where this all the stuff connects back up to okay here we go with the air intake uh, right here I put a little sliver in the inlet so that the gas has a place an easy place for it to flow it actually makes it go in this direction which is into the throttle body and the engine and you put the locking nut on and that's it also you want to put some silicone around here to seal it at the end like it's installed on the car and silicone on it to seal it up and let it dry that's it for the inlet we're going to mount the relay and the circuit breaker i'm going to go ahead and put them right here close to the system. So I'll tap it right in there. Probably put the breaker right there. Alright, at this point we got all our tubing in, our cell mounted, our bubbler reservoir mounted, our water trap mounted, and our air inlet, gas inlet mounted. <clears throat> uh, right now we're going to go ahead and cinch up our last clip. You want to put them, tighten them down, but don't tighten them down all the way. Don't over tighten them. That's it. Next we'll be doing electrical. Running from the cell to the relay, circuit breaker to power on, and then from our fuel pump relay to the relay here to activate the cell, as well as a switch that we can use to maintain maintenance the system if we have to. So we'll mount that on the top of the box. Uh, right here, we're going to go ahead and figure out how we're going to mount this switch onto this relay box. Since we've got stuff on the inside, we got to take into account the clay, so this will be sitting like this. So it's not really going to work for us though. We want to go over on this side of the box so we have room for the wire to move. Lines 
we're at our center, the word center. Perfect. Perfect.